What's good YouTube? So this is the Espen Nesta. It's a 20x4 folding fat tire e-bike with a 10.4 amp hour battery that goes right here. This is a aftermarket 20 amp hour battery I bought off Amazon. And we're gonna put it on today and triple the range of this e-bike. So stay tuned. Okay, so to do this project, you're gonna need a bunch of parts. Uh, it's gonna cost you about $460 to actually upgrade uh, this e-bike. So uh, we'll start out here with the battery. So it's a QWW 20 amp hour battery with I think a 30 amp discharge in it. Uh, it comes with a charger, which you don't see here. And it comes with an XT90 connector on it. That is a dual battery parallel connector I bought off the Bolton e-bikes website. And that will let you uh, connect a battery to an existing e-bike with a XT90 or XT60 connector um, and uh, extend the range of your, uh, your e-bike. And then these, these are kind of uh, cable leash extenders, basically extension cords with XT90 connectors on each end, male and female. And I needed those to uh, just be able to reach the, bat the uh, control uh, uh, box down here on the S-Bin. Uh, here is the control box, and um, we're going to connect it through a little hole underneath. That's where the uh, the, the, uh, the lines will go. And uh, I just want to be able to uh, secure the uh, dual bar dual battery connector up here, probably uh, on the e-bike itself. So uh, these are the parts you need. That's about 300 bucks from Amazon. 60 bucks off the Bolton website. Uh, these are about $22 each off the uh, uh, Luna Cycle site. So shout out to Luna Cycles. They do sell these. Couldn't find them on Amazon, but uh, Luna Cycle sells these. And you can actually order them in different lengths. So I got three uh, one foot uh, uh, connectors here to add to these, um, to the uh, dual parallel. So, and then the last thing you'll need is a little uh, case for the back. So I bought this off Amazon. It's just a simple uh, bike rear bag and it fits the battery nicely. I think the battery's about oh, nine inches long, maybe uh, seven inches wide, something like that. So it fits nicely in here with room to spare so I can put stuff on top of the, uh, the battery itself. And it's just a uh, end mule, um, carbon fiber looking bag, looking up. Uh, rear bike bag. So the battery is going to connect to the uh, one of the shorter uh, plugs here. This goes into your existing battery and this goes into the control panel itself. So the longer stem, uh, the longer length cable here goes to control panel. These two go into your two batteries. And we're going to use the connectors to connect the uh, Everything just to be a length of, uh, lengthen the uh, dual battery uh, box here so I can uh, place it where I want it on the e-bike. Probably going to place it up here underneath on the, on the rack here. And the battery's cable is going to come down and go underneath uh, through here. So we'll have to uh, see exactly how I mount it uh, once I get everything connected and uh, figure that out. So stay tuned. So the Nesta, is, you know, it's, it's my favorite sort of new daily rider uh, that I have. And, um, you know, the one issue is, is that the battery for this 750 watt motor is just a little bit too powerful for it. So I think I got about 22 max miles out of this thing, uh, just in kind of real world condition. So I want to add a, a second battery on here to make it a long range e-bike. And um, it comes with an XT90 connector inside the control panel. So that makes it easy for this project because I don't have to want to cut wires and, and do all that stuff. I'm not a electrical, uh, mechanical, you know, electrician here. So I want this to be plug and play, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make this a plug and play uh, dual battery e-bike, uh, basically that you can set up in just a couple of minutes. All right, so I've put the battery inside the other case here. The slit is 
cut into the, uh, the side right here and uh, the cable comes down through the bottom here so I'm going to attach one of the extension cords to this so that it can reach the um, uh, control box and have room to place it you know somewhere along here um, once I do figure out where exactly I want to mount it so sorry new battery connected to the uh, dual parallel dual battery parallel connector now we're going to connect these other two wires into the control box down here through the hole in the control box uh, piece down here all right, so everything is connected now. We've got the new battery coming in to the uh, parallel connector. You've got the uh, existing battery now connected through this uh, extension. And this extension cord goes right into the control panel itself. Um, and so uh, it's all set. Just got to bring this back in, put the cover back on, figure out where to mount this and we're uh, good to go. Okay, panel's back on the door. Uh, now we're just gonna figure out uh, exactly how to mount this thing. So it's not gonna be totally pretty, but uh, it's not my goal here. I may be able to find a way to hide the, uh, the yellow connectors with some tape or something, but uh, let's figure out where to mount this thing. Probably could just put it right on top here Almost like that. Um, uh, give me a minute. I gotta find my zip ties, and uh, I'll come back and try and mount this thing properly. I do have one extra connector, so I bought three. wasn't sure if I need them all. Uh, technically, I don't. So, really wanted to uh, to extend the be able to easily uh, move this. So the two, you only need two to go into the actual box itself. The third one, I thought maybe I could use it to extend the, uh, the new battery connector here, but at the moment I don't need it, but let's see how we can mount this thing. So right now I don't have the, uh, the uh, original batteries charging, um, and this is all charged up to 100%. And this actually works even if you don't have the original battery, so I can turn the bike on right now. And it goes on, and it's at 100% according to the uh, display there. Again, there's no uh, original battery, but there is the aftermarket battery on there, so pretty cool. All right, so I was able to zip tie it actually. Uh, didn't have to use Velcro, so I got a zip tie coming around the bottom here up to the top of the uh, device, and then one on the bottom as well. I'm not sure, it's a little bit loose, so I'm not sure how well it's going to hold. I need to get, I'm gonna put some Velcro back here, I think, um, to attach it to the, uh, the C post essentially. So, but um, you know, the wires are kind of out of the way now. They're zip tied on the bottom as well to the, to the frame here. Um, still some movement in them, but that's okay. Um, like I said, we'll uh, continue to work on this over time as far as just hiding it. And uh, main point is just to, you know, get the range going on the uh on the espen here you may want to get some just long zip ties these are like i think uh 16 inches long uh off amazon i'll put a link to everything in the description of the video that you can so you can buy it um but you have to go to uh lunar cycle sites you have to go to the bolton website and amazon to get all this stuff overall so keep that in mind So a few more things to note about the uh, dual, ba dual battery parallel connector. So first of all, you have to use the same uh, voltage battery. So this is a 48 and the original is a 48 volt battery. Now it doesn't matter what size those batteries are. So this is a 10.4, this is a 20 amp hour. That's fine. And what's going to happen is this is a smart controller here, this uh, dual battery connector. So it's going to draw first from the battery that's more fully charged. So uh, right now, my original is about 75%, so if I put that on, it's going to draw from the 20 of our first because that's the one that's fully charged. When that gets down to 75% and matches this one, then the tool will even out and it'll draw equally from both of them as you ride. So 
Um, the dual bolt, the dual battery connector uh, on Bolton's website does also come with XT60 connectors as well. Right, you can buy those extra if your battery has an XT60 connector um, originally. Um, this bike has XT90, so you don't have to buy any additional adapters for that. If your bike has a different adapter as far as how it connects the controller to the, uh, the battery itself, then you're gonna have to find your own uh, connectors for that. Um, that's something I didn't want to do. This is basically a true plug and play solution since uh, the S-Bin comes with XT90 connectors already. So it is, uh, it's, it's, it's safer that way as well. Um, and you can use, actually use one battery or both batteries. So as I showed you before, um, the original battery is not on here right now, but I can still run the bike off the new battery that's in the back there. So you can unplug them, interchange them. So it's plug and play. Uh, you can use both, you can use one, um, it's up to you. All right, so everything's finished. New battery's on, second battery's connected. Here's the current wiring uh, solution of uh, just a couple of zip ties on the top and the bottom, around the bottom of the uh, seat pole. Uh, these are zip tied as well together, so yeah, it's not gonna move too much. Um, at least that's the plan. And uh, we are good to go. The bike is now on. It's showing 100%, at least five bars anyway. Um, this battery is charged to about, I think, 80% around there, something like that. So um, we're at five bars. So I'm gonna ride it this week. Uh, it's gonna be in the 50s this week in Connecticut. So. Hopefully I can uh, get enough ride again to test the range. So uh, that's it. Now, so that's the dual battery parallel connector from uh, Bolton. The 20 amp hour battery from uh, Amazon. Uh, the connectors as well from uh, Luna Cycle. And the bag of course from Amazon. So all, in, all told you're looking at $450-ish to do this upgrade. And it's plug and play. As soon as you got all the parts, plug them in and off you go. All right, kids, so uh, been on day two here of range testing the, S the uh, Espinesto with the dual battery. So 30.3 miles uh, thus far, and we are at uh, three bars. So I estimate we're around 65% or so. Um, so that's pretty good. If you remember uh, my first test on this bike with a single 10.4 amp hour battery only got me 22 miles. So you can see already how what difference the new battery, the extra battery makes. Now one note on the uh, Nestas, I had to reduce the tire size to in order to fix the mileage uh, calculations because it wasn't matching my app. So uh, I emailed Nesta or Espen and they told me to change the tire size. So I dropped it from 24 to 22. You'll need the code to undo that. So ask them for the password how to do that. But drop your tire size to 22, not 24, to get a more accurate uh, counter of your mileage. So I'm estimating um, that uh, I can do, so if we double it at 60 miles, that'll leave us with one bar left. And uh, I'm doing this in you know PS two and three real world riding, a few hills, uh, a couple of uh, uh, pumps on the uh, throttle going across streets, and a real world conditions here. So um, mostly two and three I've been in on these uh, in these 30 miles, and uh, so I estimate I can get about 70 to 75 miles in real world conditions. I could probably up that if I uh, fully inflate the tires and do a you know a a long flat stretch on like a, a paved rail trail for example so i might be able to get 80 miles out of this thing on say the farmington canal trail which is all paved uh, in the central part of connecticut there so 30.3 uh, three bars left so i'm calling it about 65 percent i don't know exactly the percentage um let's take a look at the 10.4 see what kind of uh charge it has it's got three bars in the charge still so that's pretty good too so uh, definitely lots of life left in the uh, new setup the uh, new batteries in there uh, from amazon it's a qww 20 amp hour 
and um, 460 bucks all in on the parts Lieber is up to you but uh, that's the Espen Sport uh, or the Espen Nesta and uh, I still have to uh, cover up those those wiring I'm still figuring out what to do there but um, yeah I'm pretty uh, pretty psyched that I have a new long range e-bike so thanks for watching if you have any comments about how I did this um, clarifications just throw them in the comments there and I'll be happy to answer them for you see ya